Oh, <laughs> hello, people. My name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what this? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So, people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So, download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. Hey, but yeah, Mahama media, text us. You drew her very soon. We will conquer everywhere. Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> The media industry in Ghana is one industry that is so active. It's active to the extent that even if you are a media player and you don't have the energy, you don't have that power to always do it your own way, you'll be missing within some few years of your presence in the space. There are some people, though they are not here in the south with us, but their works far away in the northern <coughs> region is really telling us here on the media industry and its activities. One guy that I have been monitoring in that space up north is DJ Tell. Sometimes people see him to be very controversial. Sometimes I read stories about him <laughs> clashing with some artists here and there and said, who is this guy? <laughs> what is he doing? Why is he saying the brand is solid all the time? I am fortunate. He came here for Macasio's Back to the Arena concert. And after, I said, let me grab him here in my studio. Let's find out a thing or two about the media industry in the northern region about him. And I know he has one big show coming up. That is the pool party. I'll be getting details of that. And who knows? I might even fly to Tamale to be part of that particular event. So just tell him, cool. I know I have so much and I have so many people following me in Tamale as well. And I know they'll be happy to meet me there. And some of them would even be expecting that I come with Shatter. <laughs> but now they can't pay, so we talk about it. <laughs> My name is Sammy Flex. This is the real talk here on Sammy Flex TV. And I'm sure going to do it with my special guest DJ Tell. We'll be talking. We'll be talking. We have so many things to talk about. Trust me, you are going to love it. Let me say thanks to Digital Rasta. He's doing our camera for us. You can also call him Keresi. Richie Flex is the editor director of our show. And also remember, Tap Tap Send is still here. Uh, making sure that you guys can send money from abroad to Ghana with no stress. Tap Tap Send. Run to them. Remember to use the Tap Tap Wallet. The Tap Tap Wallet is for you. What it does is anytime the exchange rate is on the high, they want you to save some money. You save, you, you do the conversion and you put the money into your tap tap send. So when you want to send it, you can still get at that value. That was great. Don't miss out now. Go and get the app, download it, use the wallet. Remember the promo code Summiflex. 
a promo code Sammy Flex will surely give you some extra money into your wallet. Um pay we now pay the way. Now let's jump into the conversation so you know how it goes. DJ Tell is my special guest here on the show. Tell, welcome. Chairman. How is Accra treating you though? Yeah, as usual. We are we are managing, you know. Uh, I cry a soon too as well. I, I know you don't often come here. What what brought you here this time round? And I know you've been around for some days. Yes, I've always wanted to come, and mm -hmm. um, because of my show, okay. sometimes when I leave, it becomes headache for me as well. Okay. And so, luckily, I had I had a reason to fly, and I have okay. a reason to come. Mm. You know, they were aware that Makasi were having a concert, and as okay. usual, I MC for him. Okay. So, if you so all the time, Macasio shows you at the MC. Yeah, I mean, until further notice because he, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, he, he, he has, he works for me. I mean, I work for him, he works for me. He likes me, he likes my brand and um, the euphoria around me, mm. the influence around me. According to him, that's why he said, you know, mm. he knows I have a lot of influence and so he will want to always MC. I mean, I, I always MC for him. Okay, so, so okay. for now, I have that relationship with him. And so, mm. when that announcement came, uh, to the domain of the people, mm -hmm. you know, I brought out a flyer mm -hmm. that I'll be coming to MC the program, and okay. um, here I am in Accra. Even though I, have, I wanted, I always wanted a chance to come, mm -hmm. but this one was a big opportunity for me to use it. Okay. So that's why the program is finished, and I'm still in Accra. Okay. And even before the program, I I, I came in earlier I to do some rounds. Part of it is why I'm here. You know, I've Very always well. wanted to be here, Very well. and uh, through the opportunity, I, I am here today, and so it's a good thing. In fact, I've been admiring your works from afar. Thank you very um, much. I see you doing Thank this, you very and much. that sometimes I see stories. Hey, this guy, <laughs> <laughs> he's a hard guy oh. with all the threats. I am and not. Actions, I am he's, not. He's still not backing down. I am not. I Every am day not. going on hard. I am but, not. But how did your relationship with um? Um, Macasio start to the extent that now you are his official MC on his shows, whether here in Accra or in Tamale. But everywhere, Macasio what, performs. what many people don't know is that I actually have beef, strong one with Macasio more than even Fancy. Really, many don't know. He's, he's, he's the type who doesn't fight back. You know, I don't fight him. Mm -hmm. Criticisms, my type of criticisms, I always had. Mm -hmm. This man will listen to it and will never say anything either on social media or recording a song to talk about me. Mm -hmm. He only sees me and says, tell you are wrong. This and this and this and this, you are wrong. And I say, okay, I can give you opportunity to come and clear. Okay. So that has been my problem and my arrangement with him. Oh, okay. I like Fancy. Mm -hmm. Fancy will not like it. Mm -hmm. Example, I'm just using him here. Okay. He will not like it. He won't mm -hmm. tell me, see me and say anything. But he complains to people and sometimes he plays songs to just say, also mm. bring out his mind mm. by hitting me on it. Mm. That is cool. That is entertainment. Okay. But it's not an insult to them. Okay. But I realized that Macasio uh, got. He's not too. He's not emotional. Mm -hmm. He understood mm -hmm. the. Uh, yes, he understands the the the, the what's culture. it called the culture <laughs> of the industry. Uh -huh. He understand how entertainment is done, mm -hmm. and sometimes he knows he serves the people, and we as media people are also serving the people. Okay. And so we serve as mouthpiece to the people. Mm -hmm. And so when he's doing something he, I think is not good, mm -hmm. even though when he thinks it's right and I think it's not good, it, nothing stops me from talking. Okay. He's a brother. If he hears that and have a problem with that, he reach out to me. If you want to come on my show, I bring him. Okay. And you know that's how it should be done. Yeah. You know, in, yeah. in the media space. Yeah. Sometimes he says certain no things. Mm. I, I go mm -hmm. on editorials on myself, mm -hmm. talk more about issues. Mm -hmm. People call me and say, tell, you are wrong here. I want to come and explain. Mm -hmm. Even if we need two hours, I'll give you. Mm -hmm. To give you a fair hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my opinion or a fact. Okay. You think I am wrong, come and explain. Okay. So my castle has been, has, been, has been on that tangent for long. And I sometimes he lives to, to, to believe and get to know who I am. Mm -hmm. So he understands me better. And luckily he's uh, one of the big musicians. in. in That's why he was telling me <clears throat> his concert he had in Tamale. When I released my flyer, okay. he realized people posted it even more than his own. Wow. Yes, and that's true. That, that told, I mean, that tells him that um, I have the influence. Yes, ah. a lot. Even this one, I was very amazed to see people sharing the flyer mm. after uh, being released. And so it tells me to, like, a lot of people come to say, We are coming because of you. Okay. We are coming because I have videos when I go to the Konkuma market. Yeah. A lot of people, I was dirty. Wow. People were holding me. I realized that, yes, I am love. And he also realized it, that I have the space and I have the influence. I see. And so, so strategically, so, mm, you would have to have use me. Together. That's right. Yeah. So knowing the relationship, are you still paid for what you do for him or now you do it for free? Why not? It used to be for free. But even for free, free means that I would not charge him. Mm -hmm. 
at the earlier stages. Okay. But I come to realize that I don't use my calcio to, to be popular or to mm -hmm. be relevant. I am mm -hmm. relevant by my own. Mm -hmm. You rather use me. <laughs> you understand me? Because okay. people tell me that I, I'm coming because of you. Okay. When my fly is released, they share. So mm -hmm. I realize that no, I have an impact on the program. Wow. So yes, it's, it's brotherly. Mm -hmm. But I tell him that sometimes he calls and says, how much would you charge me? Mm -hmm. You know, on a friendly note. And I say, like, just give me anything. So just mention. Mm -hmm. So the last concert we did in Tamil, I said, give me 5000 Wow. Yes. He said, no problem. That I'm worth more than that. Wow. So after the program, he called to give me the money and said, due to you because you know i know a lot of people mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. currently i'm making him see the deputy majority whip majority whip habib okay. before he goes to tamale oh, i right. call habib Habib saying we should we'll meet when they meet alice he will get something out of that <coughs> he'll meet this person so through me he has been able to get some sponsorships <coughs> wow, for his shows. that's right so when he's giving me the money, he told me that I'm giving you seven thousand, even though you charge me five thousand. Wow! Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, because through you, I've gotten some, mm. you know, mm. <clears throat> sponsorships, and so you deserve. <clears throat> sorry, mm -hmm. and so you deserve more than five thousand. So he gave me seven thousand. Wow! But this one, this one, I never charge him. Okay, the one you did. No, in Accra, I didn't charge him. Yeah, I know he would give me money. Yeah, him. I didn't charge him. I didn't know that he was. Yeah, but, but, but charging Makasu is not my thing now. He I gives see. me money because it looks like. This guy, is, he respects me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now me. Let, let me also get the other side. Mm. I have also seen that even here in Accra, I monitor the space in Tamale, and I realize you and Fancy, you guys don't meet eye to eye at all. Yeah. How did that start? Because as a media person, I know your platform is open. This artist can come in, this artist can come in. Mm. You've told me how you started your relationship with Marcus. Yeah. How did your relationship also get sour with Fancy? What happened? Fancy has been my man. Fancy has been my boy. Let me put it that way. Because everything promotional, uh, it has been on me, you know, since day one. I've worked with Fancy closely than my castle, mm -hmm. as even a manager. Wow. Yes, at the point. You manage Fancy? Yes, I manage him. And because, oh. at the, yes, I can explain that because at the point, I became the main point of um, his, I mean, a center of his promotions mm -hmm. uh, at Zara Radio okay. when I was there. So at the point, a manager, Wakasu, the footballer, yeah, yeah, Wakasu, wanted to yeah. come in and help as a brother from the same area with mm -hmm. Fancy. Mm -hmm. Fancy told him that he, I'm there for him and okay. he always wanted me to be part of his works. Okay. Wakasu phoned me from Spain and okay. told me this is what Fancy is saying. Mm -hmm. And so I want to get you on board. And I told Fancy that, yes, I'm working with Fancy. I, I told Wakasu, mm -hmm. yes, I'm working with Fancy, mm -hmm. but I won't want any interference. I won't want anything. Even though Fancy had his management, a team. Okay. Now but that's right. Him. But when it comes to promotion, everything was done on me. So when Wakaso came in, I told Wakaso, I want to form a company for you. Okay. He said, I should go ahead. He is not in town. Whatever I think that would make Fancy Fly, I should go ahead. So I came up with a name through my friends, uh, with my friends, Wakaso friends, Front Page Entertainment. Front Page Entertainment. Entertainment. I brought it up and I was made the manager. Okay. Not the financier. Wakaso was a financier. Okay. But I spearheaded everything, which involved Fancy Gadam, Lil K, and Don Sigley. Mm -hmm. You know, but my main focus was fancy because okay. he brought me on. Okay. Uh, so at the point, it even became confusing because confusion came up because I was more into fancy than the, the other reason, artists. The artist. And I had a reason. The so reason. The, the front page entertainment was for uh, Wakasu. Wakasu. You did it for him? Yes, oh. just to manage this oh. artist. So uh, I worked closely. Uh, yes, I worked closely as the manager mm -hmm. of Fancy Gadam and the front page entertainment. Okay. Everything that was supposed to be done, to be done mm -hmm. was done through me, to okay. Wakasu, promotional concerts, organization, everything. Mm. So I worked closely with him. So at the point I I, I departed, not from front page, but from fancy or pushing him, and what also supported me mm -hmm. was after a video concert was done, they launched a video album, okay. uh, which I spearheaded in okay. promotion and organizing at Picona. Okay. And at the time, fancy was nobody to, I mean, to organize a show at Stadium. Okay. Or even Radach. Okay. It was done at Pekona, a hotel. Pekona, yeah. That's right. I, I've heard about you know, that. So we organized that and truly people came. Mm -hmm. We had some money and the video album was sold out to a producer where Wakaso wanted us to pick the money from the producer. Mm. You know, mm. because he thought that maybe the money would never get to him. Mm -hmm. So later, Wakaso called and I said, Oh, the money is with Fancy. He said, No problem. He phoned Fancy to say that, okay, the money is yours, but people help you in organizing the show. I don't need your money. Okay. But those who help you give 500 Ghana CD to this guy, 500 Ghana CD to this person, 500 Ghana CD to tell. Mm -hmm. You know, at the time it was money anyway. Yeah. You know, 500 Ghana yeah. CD. 
And Fancy said, okay. So why can't you to tell me that? Oh, Fancy will give me 500. Up to date. I followed Fancy for this 500 Ghana city. Up to where? Up to date. Up to today. 500. But at the point, I stopped. Because I thought that 500 was not. Okay. But it only made me to understand and see him the way I used to see him. No, when it comes to monetary and greed, this, I mean, somebody who, where, who I can benefit from is not the way I am thinking. I have to back up because when I promote him to a point, I, what I, I mean, we need to benefit from each other. Mm -hmm. But from what I'm seeing, mm -hmm. going forward, I won't be able to see that. And so, yes, we are not fighting, but I stop. I never insulted him. I never do anything. I never even, you know, I never even about talk it. about that. And I like, hear issues of, I wanted to steal from him, and he said no, and, you know, so he even played a song and direct me to direct direct an insult to me, Zunyong. This was the first time for song. Yes. And Zunyong Lana that I said I will kill his career, you know, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that, which I never mentioned. But it says Zunyong Lana. Zunyong Lana means that somebody a hater. Oh, okay. Who doesn't so want So you would consider that as a diss song to you? Yes, that's why he never mentioned my name. But everybody in Tamale knows you were the one. I went on radio, people thought I would react. I never did. Because even reacting, I didn't want to have problem with him, mm -hmm. you know. But his, his team, you know, the, the, the hatred came, you know, much when, because because of fancy, I created, what's it called, a weekly chat, mm -hmm. you know, just to, because at the time, Don Sigley and Lilike was there. Yeah. Fancy was coming, mm -hmm. but I wanted to put fancy on everybody. Okay. So I created a weekly chat and mm -hmm. put him, every week I put him on. In there. In there, and he will win. Every week, I'll put him as a winner. Mm. So there was a lot of controversies. I stopped and I made it a yearly thing. Okay. Every year, uh, that, that top 10 mm -hmm. artists of the year, mm -hmm. he won for three times, three years. Wow. People were talking, who is fancy? Who is fancy? Mm -hmm. I knew what I was doing. So they, so they felt you were being biased. Biased. And I was biased, biased, honestly. Because he was, I, I, yes, I was biased. But I have an agenda. I had an agenda to put so him so forward. You were, you were telling the people that you were biased. I was biased, honestly. But I say it on radio oh, because okay. of fans. I had an agenda. Mm -hmm. And it's part of our work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. you had an agenda to, to put something. To it's part, opinion. Yes. And so when that happened, and Fancy, you know, dodged me with that 500 guy, and I said, I said, no, this guy will show you. My castle was nowhere to be found. My castle had just, was just coming. The next year, mm -hmm. I created that same top chat, chat 10, I mean, top 10 artists. Yeah. Everybody was expecting fans to get them to win as usual, you know, before they realized, ha, Makassi won. Hey, come see insults. And that one too, you were deliberate. Deliberate. I wanted to show fans to get them that, no, I can turn everything I after see. refusing to give me the 500 and I said, mm. I brought Makassi on. Another controversy. Who is Makassi? A disrespected artist. Who is he? Fans to get them, area people say, ah, but who is Makassi? You win top 10. And that brought about Makassi, fans to get them beef. Who is Makasio? Who is he? Mm. Fancy has been there three years. Who is he? Mm. You know, and that brought about their field. Mm. Practically, I brought it. And this is the story. Makasio, Fancy Ghana, before I brought it. Ask anybody. There's no other story than this. Makasio is aware. Fancy is aware. Even though at the time, Fancy was there. Mm. Fancy was up before yeah, That's right. Oh, Fancy had plenty of his songs. And was doing concerts at Stadia, what's it called? Radach and mm -hmm. what's it called? Pekona. Pekona. But... The feud made them to be able to do bigger ones at the stadium, the stadium. you know. But I brought it, and this is the story on my show. On my mm. show, that show, mm. you understand me. So, like, yeah, so, luckily right? for him, mm -hmm. Makasio didn't push him down. My my turn over to Makasio was to put Fancy Gadam down. Luckily for him, it rather brought that confusion and escalated him more, even Makasio mm. at the time. Mm. And so now eh, Makasu is look like now Makasu is everywhere. Makasu yeah. is bigger than Fancy in Northern Ghana. Now, yes, I, I tell you. Why do you yes, say I tell so? you? Because but, but they are all almost doing the same. No, almost. But because you are not there, uh -huh. eh, Fancy is organizing the program. Makasu is organizing the program. It doesn't take Fancy much to be able to drive people to the stadium. Uh -huh. But I see what Fancy goes through when he has a concert. Uh -huh. Fancy, for example, will take a car, go to nearby villages. To plead with them, do interviews to come and sell tickets there. Mm -hmm. Makasu will sit in Tamale and have it done. Just a recent concert. Makasu never traveled to any part of the one he, Northern. The, one, the, yeah, last one the stadium, did. Tamale. Yeah. He sat in Tamale and had people more than fancy. You know, fancy went everywhere to be able to garner people to come. 
you know, the difference here is not about music. Mm -hmm. The difference here is about humility. 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 Does it, does it really play? It does. Play In Northern region, it does. <laughs> yes, okay. it's about who you are. Uh -huh. It's about how you live with the people. Mm. It's about what you do. Mm. My castle is not greedy. Fans Gadam, after doing everything for him after a show, he never gave me the 500 Ghana City. Macasio, even if I don't charge, will still look for me and give me money. Mm. Not only me. Mm. So compare the two. Who would I go for? No matter how the talent is, no matter the talent of fancy, who would you go for? Mm. You understand me? Especially when they're in competition. Yeah. So this is human. It's not, you know, we have him, but Shata even do concert free for people yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. because of the relationship. People, yeah. You understand me? It's, mm. it's there in the entertainment industry. Mm. Fancy doesn't have it. Macasio got it. I'm not kidding. You can come and do your survey. Mm. Fancy who had a lot of every important Fancy has been the the most luckiest musician in Northern Ghana and Ghana, even beyond Shatawale and Sarkodie. I tell the you, most the most luckiest. Why? Uh, well, what, what do you call lucky? What I call lucky because what Fancy was it called? What Shata Sarkodie Stonewell went through to become what they are today, you know, mm -hmm. and to fill stadium and whatever. Mm -hmm. Fancy didn't do that. How do you know? Oh, how I, I work with him. Fancy had the love of the people. Even when Macasso came to competition, Fancy had all the important people around him. They never went on Macasso's side. They are him, contractors, footballers, uh, 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 game boys mentioned them. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody was with Fancy. RGS, rich people, wives, everyone was with Fancy. Management. Macasso they never had any record level signing him. Fancy have several record labels, including Sultan Incorporation from Tema. Mm -hmm. Big guy, you know, today they are all off Fancy Garden. Why? Because of the treatment, because of greed. I'm not, I'm not talking down on him, but that is what it is. Otherwise, tell me why they are, they are all leaving. At the point, I couldn't sit on radio and talk bad about Fancy. People would rush in there and beat me. Mm. But now I can talk and talk and talk, and nobody will talk for him. They will even see me and see more fire. Mm. Yes, mm. all these big boys who used to call and warn me are now with me. You know why? In one way or the other, they were all not happy with him. Some were supporting him with even billions, 500 Ghana City, what's it called? 50,000 Ghana City. Mm. At the point that they have something to do, either a wedding or organization or something, they need fans, they fans will charge. Do you understand me? Mm. I mean, business wise, it makes sense. Yeah. But in humanity, or I mean, where we come from, they expect that's yeah. right, they expect you to also say, Oh, yes, uh, because of what you've done for me, I'll do it for free, even though they will still give you money. Mm. But fans will charge. Mm. There are several instances where people help him, or the Hajjis help him with millions of cities. They have an occasion, they call him, he will not even re receive, uh, they will not even pick with the notion that they, will, they won't want to pay. Mm -hmm. You understand me? That got everybody you know, leaving mm -hmm. his ba behind him, including myself, because of greed. I'm not kidding. Ask anybody. If, uh, if Fancy choose me as an MC, mm -hmm. and I say, Fancy, give me 5,000 galaxy, he will change an MC. Yes, he will want to finish and give me whatever he want. Besides, he has so many people to pick from. All his people around him are managing him because they don't want people to talk. They fight day in, day out. You understand me? So people think that I am the problem. Because I'm on radio and I talk. Mm -hmm. He is all, he will not talk on radio. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't like me. He goes places, spoil my name. People don't see that. But when I come on radio to talk, people see it. You know. So people call and say, oh, I should leave it. I should leave it. Including even people from Accra. Oh, let it go. Mm -hmm. Top musicians. Oh, let it go. Let it go. You know. From our two bees to, oh, let mm -hmm. it go. Fancy so younger. Even yesterday, my sister Rashida was telling me, mm -hmm. oh, let it go. He's a younger brother. You know. I always wanted to let it go. But his people see me as an enemy and talk bad, you know, about me. He himself will go on, what's it called, TikTok mm -hmm. or video himself mm -hmm. and call me a drunkard, uh, you know, just to, it doesn't, it gives me an opportunity to fire back. So when that happens and I talk, nobody can say anything. Mm. Hey, he but that's why it doesn't get to me as a, like he's calling me a drunkard, a drunkard, so what? But it rather gives me the opportunity yeah. to fire him and expose him more, like I'm telling you. Many people don't know him. Mm. Music-wise, perfect. You can follow him. But when it comes to working with Fancy, if you're intelligent and sensible, you won't want to go far with him because he's greedy. 
Music is about chop, make a chop. Yeah. You like it or yeah. not, but he always want to be there at the receiving end by giving out no. You cannot go to Tamale and ask anybody. Yes, ah, I've said all this on radio. It's not only on this particular. And nobody will ever say that I'm lying. No, it's there. But people, some people like him music. Oh, yeah. I always tell people that. Oh, why I don't fight fans together music, yeah. but I'm fighting with the relationship I have with him, yeah. what he has done to me, how I started with him, where I came from with him, mm. which many people are not privy to. Mm. But I know. Mm. So I speak with emotions because I know what I've done for him. Because of Francis Gadam, I went on suspension three times on that radio. Why? What did you do? Stop. At a point, I leave. I can play Francis Gadam's song for close to 30 minutes to the detriment of my business. Mm -hmm. Here are PNs in front of me. I book and I, I bring him for interviews and stock for two hours without even doing one single LPM. LPM. Yeah. My management warned me, but because of the love of Fancy and using Fancy to fight my enemies, our enemies, mm -hmm. I had only two hours on radio. My businesses were lying there. Manager gave me suspension. Right. Mm -hmm. I came back, continue suspension. I came back. Oh, they even attacked me there from Liki fans. Mm -hmm threatened to even burn up my car because I'm fans together. You know, many, many people don't know. So all oh, it's not because I hate him. If I hate if I if I hated fancy, fancy wouldn't be happy here. Mm -hmm. No. The fight I fought for fancy, forget. Forget. He knows. He knows my weight. But many new people around him. So to answer your question, that is the story. That is what happened. Just to make it brief, that is the story. And I came from far. It's not because he has done something mm. He insulted is, me. Is it, is it true? Because I remember some time ago, I think this story was even discussed on one of my platforms, either Xylophone or here. Is, is it true that a brother of Fancy attacked you? Yes, it's true. It's true. Uh, yes, he played a song and insulted me. That song, I, I didn't want to even talk about it because he never mentioned my name. Okay. So one of his interviews, he directed that to me and he said, you know, the presenter asked him, who was it meant for? Who was it directed to? Okay. He referred to me because I said something earlier who he was not pleased with. Mm -hmm. So he brought that thing and said, the person who said that is the person I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. to. And I remember I that said that. That was when you knew yes. that. Yes, I advised them that their concerts, you know, sometimes we are Muslim-dominated area. Uh -huh. They shouldn't be there, you know, as fans of fans together mm -hmm. until they called the Azan when prayers are being said at nearby mosques at the stadium and they're still performing and dancing. Mm -hmm. People will refer to them as Chafranama. Mm -hmm. Chafranama means that people who doesn't believe in God. Okay. You know, so they should just an advice. Mm -hmm. So somebody told him that I'll call his fans Chafranama. Means that they don't believe in God. Instead of him to ask me, he went and insulted me mm -hmm. in the song and said on the interview that this is what I said and it's meant for me. I said no. The first song you did, I never said anything. But this one will show you that I have power than you. Mm. That was where I started. Mm. So this beef, you know, this current, this current one started from that song. Oh, when he refers to me, Puhanzo Danyura, uh, to it, uh, somebody, a drunkard on air. Um, Puhanzo Danyura means a drunkard on air. That's right. I said, no. It means a drunkard on air. On air. So the way I talk means I'm a drunkard. That's what it just insult me. Then mm. I said, no, this guy. He said, I said I will kill his name. So this is the time I will demonstrate to him that I brought him up. I opened fire. He went silent. People were blaming me. I said, no, I just want to show this guy that. So at a point, his brother thought that I was going overboard. overboard. He said I insulted the parents, you know, which I never did. He just wanted an excuse to, to, to attack okay. me. So one day, I even gave my car for service and I rode a motorbike there. Mm -hmm. On my way to the house, three of them, four of them met me on the way. Just was it really? mm -hmm. near my station. I I saw the video. Yeah, the video. Four of them attacked me. Many people don't know. There were four, not only the guy. So they were standing by. If the guy, if I, if, if the guy was losing the fight or something, they come in. But you know, some people came and separated us. Uh, on the lighter side, I mean, on the on a on a different side, I saw somebody four minutes. Mm -hmm. So I thought that by law, I don't have to also hit back. Mm -hmm. If I hit him back, it becomes a fight. So I was solely defended. Mm -hmm. So when the police commander even saw you, he said, I did what? Well. You know, by defending, defending, defending. Mm -hmm. so, so you did not hit back? I didn't. So I reported it to the police. He was arrested. And um, ah, he never, he, he, he flee. I mean, everybody, including his mother, Francis' mother, 
left the left left the house, locked the house. We were waiting for them at the police. They called. We went to the house. They were not there, you know. So wow. finally, he ran to one of uh, the revere chiefs, Duku Tena, to to bring him to the police station where where I was there. Mm -hmm. So he was arrested and locked up. The next day, they pleaded and uh, he, was he was released. That this happened behind closed. Many people don't know, you know, for the police, it will not be on social yeah, media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was what happened. Mm. Many thought that he just attacked me and went free. No. He no, arrested. he couldn't sleep in his house for one week. Picking his daughter from school, he couldn't for one week. You know, he ride motorbike up and down through the city to pick his daughter. He couldn't. The mother, everybody couldn't sleep in the house. They have to go to the family house in Zango to sleep. I'm not kidding. Uh -huh. But this was what I wanted. That was why I was defending, defending, defending. Mm. You know, so if you claim you attack me, you have power, later you flee your house, lock your house mm. down. Not even a single soul was left in the house for close to one week. Fancy was in Accra, though. Mm -hmm. So because of that, he came after two, three days to come to the police station to see how they can defend the brother. This, I'm telling you, nobody knows. Mm -hmm. But that's this is what happened after the attack. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but it never stopped me. Mm -hmm. It never. Mm -hmm. Because I had an agenda and I wanted to demonstrate to him that I am powerful. And up to date, that's what I'm still doing. So now you still don't play Fancy Gadam song? I do. I play Fancy Gadam song more than anybody, including Even my cousin. Now? Yes. <laughs> yes. He told somebody that I'm the only he person. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, so, so wait. Um, <laughs> if you still have love for his song, yes. why don't you forgive? The character. I, I can't do that. These are two things. His character is there, and musically is there. I have favorite songs so for fans. So you still play his songs? More than Makasu. Despite all this More fight. than Makasu. More than Makasu. I can sit on my show and play five, six wow. songs. Five, six songs of Fancy. Wow, this is unbelievable. Fancy is talented. No doubt. I love many of his so songs. So you don't want to touch his talent? No, no, no. Oh, why not? No, like, uh, 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 that thing is very uh, sense to me. Mr. Brassami, I'm, I'm serving my listeners. My listeners like his songs. Professionally, I don't have to abandon it. Yes, people love it. I have to, and I love it too. Not all his songs, but I play the place, the ones people like and I also like. It's not because of fancy. It is because of the people. My listeners. Mm. You understand? And my station. I don't have to do that to the detriment of somebody's business. Hey. It is personal. <laughs> no, it is, it is personal. No. He knows. He knows. And he tells people. I'm the only person who plays his song more than any other person in Tamale. People get to me and they tell me that. There, there won't be a day I sit without playing Fancy Gadam's song. I am fighting his character and the insult he directed to me, not his talent. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is deep. Yeah, sure. Because I know here in Accra, some people have issues with oh, no. and they, no. they, are, they are named because they don't want to even... That is wrong. That is wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's that happening in Accra. That they are wrong. named because they don't want to not even talk about playing. And that is wrong. But you are playing his songs. Yes. Despite all the things... I swear God. More, than, gone, more than any other presenter. And I even mentioned, and I discuss. If I'm interviewing somebody, including you, and you, are, you want to speak bad about France, I stop you. <laughs> oh, I have several interviews with people. They want to talk about bad about I said, no, retract and apologize. Yes. The fight between myself and him, I know how I manage it. But you can't bring his fight in front of me to want to. No, I will stop you. So, so, so today I want to know, um, the whole world will be watching this, including the people in the northern region as well. What should happen before you would say, I have forgotten about everything? Let's live in peace again. Even if not working together, not necessarily. You don't have to work with him. Mm. But what would bring peace? What should be? What should happen before peace will prevail between you and Fancy again? You should apologize. You should apologize. I said what he did was wrong. Because I don't insult him. I only criticize him. And that is what he sees as insult. Mm -hmm. So that was what brought about the insult he, he directed to me in the in song. song yeah. He sees those, those criticisms, that hard criticisms as insult. Mm -hmm. He sees that as hate, hating him. Mm -hmm. And so that was what brought about that. And I'm telling him on this platform that it's not only him. I've criticized my castle even more than him. Mm -hmm. I've criticized several musicians, DC, mm -hmm. all the top guys, you know, mm -hmm. Kawastone and Co., mm -hmm. more than him. Mm -hmm. But he's not an angel whereby he's exempted from my criticisms whereby he thinks that I'm his boy, he has, he's my boy, mm -hmm. and that he's powerful, and I shouldn't talk about him. Mm -hmm. No, I demonstrate to him that he's nobody, mm 
-hmm. as far as I'm concerned, as far as my criticism is concerned, mm -hmm. it's not about as far as the entertainment is concerned, it's not above any, anybody, especially the media house. We can still talk about him any day, any time. But he sees himself above that. Mm. And so he shall apologize. Mm. I see. But um, I, I want to pay attention to the words you are using, as in you criticize him. Mm. And being in this position, I know there is constructive criticism yeah. and there is destructive criticism. Yeah. What you've been saying about him, mm. where would you place it? Would you say you have been constructive or even destructive to I was, what he does? I was, I was constructive until he insulted me. Then it became hate. You were constructive? Yeah. Earlier? Yes. Until he came attacking in his song? That's right. So now you are distracted. Distractive to him. Do you want to continue doing that? Knowing that you are maybe worrying his brand, you are disturbing his music business. Do you want to continue? I don't doing like that? it that way. But if I should see fire, fancy would think that he's powerful. He would think that he has won. He would think that he's untouchable. Sometimes that comes to my mind. What if I stop? What would this guy think? Is he powerful? Does he have the people more than me? Is he popular more than me in northern Ghana? He will say, because I know him, even if he doesn't mention it, people around him will think, that, oh, after all, fancy one. So I want to do it to a point that where they are all quiet, like now, I can decide to stop now. Like I've stopped, for me I've stopped, until I hear anything again. So when they begin to talk again, I'll come back until they keep oh, quiet. so now you've stopped? I'll stop, for now, until tomorrow or tomorrow next, when I hear anything from me. Not from his fans. For the fans are for them, they even attack me on Facebook. I yes, don't have any problem with that. that. Yeah. No, 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 no. But people around him, if I hear anything about me, I have no problem. But if it has to do with my problem with fancy and it made it looks like they have won or they are, you no, know, I'll come back. Mm -hmm. Because I know, because you've been a part of his brand before, yeah. you wouldn't want him to go down. You yes. Wouldn't, you wouldn't be happy to see him go down. Yeah, I'm, I was doing that for a reason. I just want him to know that he's nobody. I wanted to know that he can't fight a media person. Mm. I go on radio every day. I can dedicate every five, ten minutes for your, for you. Mm. But what about you? Can you do that in every song you record? It's wrong to fight a media person, especially somebody who you think is powerful, somebody who made you. Mm. Ah, mm. he keeps saying that it's God who made him, and it's God who can kill his brand. I tell him it's wrong. God doesn't make people to throw the, uh, something from the skies. He will make you through somebody. He give the power to you through somebody. The same way God can distract or bring you down through somebody. The power I use by I mean, given to me by God is equal. It's, to, it's still in me, mm. given to me by God. Mm. You have forgotten that can be used in bringing you down. And I I tell you the time I use during those days, mm -hmm. the power I had mm. eh, was even nothing. Now I am more powerful than those oh, days yeah. than before. That is why he doesn't know. So if I use that small powers to make you, I can use now the powers I have now to distract you. And I swear God, I'm not saying this outside God. God has given me the power just like he has given you. We shouldn't be fighting. But if it comes to bring somebody down, I swear to God I have the power. I know it is wrong. Mm -hmm. You understand me? But yeah. he should realize it and knows that this guy made me. Mm -hmm. This guy has the power to bring me up. Mm -hmm. And now he even have more than that. Do you understand me? That's why everybody phones to tell me that I should tone down. They are not telling him, they are telling me because they think that what I am doing is powerful and it will dent his image. So every well-meaning person, it's contractors, amazing. politicians, MPs, all the MPs in order you spoke to me about it, I should tone down the, the brand of fancy. You know, so yes, I respect them. So when you see me talking ag ag against him now, it is because I've heard something again. They should be quiet. I would love mm. to play fancy music. Mm. I would love to talk good about him when he does good. When he's wrong, I will talk about it. Mm. Uh, normal criticisms. I will go that way. But insulting me, calling me a drunkard, is my person you are denting. You are, you are insulting my person. Because you are drunkard because he thinks you, or he knows you drink. Which he one? has never seen me drinking. <laughs> maybe the way I speak on radio uh -huh. made me believe that before I go, I take alcohol. Uh, hey, rather than me, if I should take alcohol before going on radio, people will attack me there. Yeah. If I should take drug uh -huh. and go on radio, they will kill me. Uh -huh. uh, can you imagine what I'll say? Yeah. No, I'm measured. Yeah. I am measured. There are things I can say. And I don't speak without hearing the other side. Mm. But for fancy, people think I am that way, like I am, profe I am, I'm, I am, I am professional. Yeah. No. 
Yes, call me unprofessional, but I'm doing that for a reason. I have a reason when it comes to fasting. I can go on radio and insult Brahsa me. Mm -hmm. On what reason? Mm -hmm. oh, even if I'm drunk, mm -hmm. why? Mm -hmm. Even if I have drugs in me, why? What have you done? So they won't ask themselves, why fancy? Mm -hmm. Is he the only musician in Tamale? Mm -hmm. Why would I praise Makasu and condemn fancy? There is a reason. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a reason. And now today we know the reason. That's right. So people should ask, ah, but why are you fighting with? One time somebody called me, you know, on Facebook, commented, why would I allow myself to, to be fighting with fancy? Can't I see that fancy is the gateway uh, in modern mm -hmm. music? I said, you are, you are stupid. Story to you, I said, You are stupid. I commented as if I said, I wanted to get his number and call him. Yeah. I quickly blocked him and deleted it. Look, for 30 minutes, I was bleeding inside. <laughs> Instead of you asking me what happened, and I tell you, it's fancy God or an angel. So that was part. The reason why this thing extended to this time is at some point, people thought that fancy is untouchable. Like fancy, you can't touch fancy and go free. Mm. If you touch fancy, your program is down. Like, you can't, no presenter can talk the way, to, the way I talk to fancy and still exist. Mm. That should be established as well. The way I'm fighting with fancy. Brass, I mean, I swear God, if any presenter tried, it, that would be the end of your career. In the Northern region? Yes. Yes. Because he's powerful. You're very powerful. He has fans. They will come at you, they will distract you, mm. they will talk to your management, and they will. They can even take you off the program. Hey. Yes, I am just lucky. My management know my weight. They know the kind of value, value I have. Yeah. I am lucky. No matter the report to him, then my manager can only talk to me. Tell, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Fine. At the moment, they are talking to me. They report to my director. Tell is insulting people because of fancy. I don't insult people, but because of fancy. Well, why would I allow your station to be... For tell to use it against people. He's, 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 he's set up personal scores on radio, which is not meant to be so, just because of fancy. So assuming those reports goes against some, any other presenter apart from me, mm -hmm. they will take you off your program. Mm -hmm. But the respect my management gives to me is that they know where the fight started from. They know what I am fighting. Mm -hmm. That is what I have. Mm -hmm. So if you have music to fight me, I have my program to fight you. Do you understand me? So my management doesn't want to even fully involve because they, it looks like they are picking size, mm. you know, mm. which I respect. Mm. But now I am okay. I am quiet. I've realized that I've done so much harm to him and I've realized that emotionally he's not correct. I mean, he's not comfortable mm -hmm. with this fight. He actually wants us to stop. That's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And I've stopped. Okay. On this program, I'm telling people that I have stopped. Mm -hmm. If you see me going mad again, it is because I've heard something mm. about him again. About him, from him, directly from him okay. or his management. Okay. Yes. Um, I think I, li I like this one that I've heard. At least um, <laughs> DJ Tell is telling me on this platform that he stopped any other thing um, until he hears something. I want to believe he won't hear anything. <laughs> uh, first, he's also my brother, as a matter of fact. Why not? Why not? After this interview, I'm also going to call him and tell him that you came to me and you've also expressed some painful moments that yeah. you guys had together. Mm. And I wish that he doesn't go back to yeah, me. And sure. even if he can, sure. I'll, that one I won't force him. Our fight has changed him in a way. Yeah. It has changed him a lot. I, I, I see changes. I've seen changes about he forced to do certain things when I label him as ungrateful. Mm -hmm. uh, when I label him as a greedy person, mm -hmm. I realized that he, he tries to show that he's not. Okay. So by sometimes posting some of the musicians' pictures on his social media handle, oh, sometimes okay. trying to show concern, you know, which he was not use, uh, doing, so out of our fight. Mm -hmm. You know, he even play a song, mm -hmm. Ungrateful, and name it Ungrateful. Oh, that tag went to. Everybody, oh, everybody was staying fast as ungrateful through my program. Mm. So he touches him, he recorded a song mm. and explained himself. Oh, Since then, he's pretending now to be good. So <laughs> it has changed him. Honestly, it has changed him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I pray that you guys would end it. I pray yes. that you guys would end it. Abba, let, let me talk a bit about my, my musician. No, no. Uh, Shatter. Shatter. No, no, we will get there. We, we, we are not done, though, because <laughs> that story was something yes. I wanted it to yes, clear. Yes, yes, yes. I'm happy that you've cleared it. Yes, now yes. We can move on. Sure. But uh, let's go to Tamale back. And um, what kind of program do you do? Because the last time Makasio was on TV3, mm. 
he talked about, and not Makasi alone, I think most of the people who come from the north to do interviews here, mm. they talk about not getting enough or maximum or valued support from the northern media. Um, that you would, you would want to do it there, but you still would need the, uh, the south, the media from the southern mm. part to also support you. Mm. That's why I'm asking, what sort of program do you do? And what do you guys on radio in Tamale do for the creatives in there? That at every point in time, they still think that they want more from the south and not what you guys are doing for them. No, really, they need more, not only, not all of them. Mm -hmm. Fancy and Makasu at this point, this south, the southern sector more than northern region. At this at, at 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 this point of their career, mm -hmm. they need more of the southern. I always tell Makasu, you are a household name, you are very popular. Mm -hmm. You know, now that you should be focusing on how to get out of northern region at your comfort zone mm -hmm. and be popular nationwide. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? It's by leaving what you have in northern Ghana and move forward. Mm -hmm. What would it benefit you if I play Makasu song already? What again? Day. What I've I've said everything about Makasu. People got to know you. What again do you want me to say? What? Makasu is talented. Makasu is popular. Makasu is what? Again. He's popular. He has demonstrated that he's popular. He has filled the Tamale Sports Stadium. Mm -hmm. He's gotten money. He built a house in Tamale. Everybody knows Makasu. Mm -hmm. me. Tell me what else do you want me to talk about Makasu? What else do you want me to say about Makasu? Mm -hmm. In Northern Region. Mm -hmm. Except yeah. to say he has released a song, new song, and I play. That's all. And now promotion is gone beyond just playing music. Mm -hmm. No, it's gone beyond. Yeah. It's about talking about who you are, mm -hmm. saying about who you are. Mm -hmm. But Marketing now, you. what else should I say about Fancy Gadam and Makasi? If there's one thing you know, tell me. In Northern Region. <laughs> there's nothing. Except those who are coming up. Yeah. But Makasi and Fancy should stop complaining about the media in Northern Region. They have gotten everything they need. They need it and they need now. They've gotten everything. Yes. Fancy have a house, he has a car. Makasu have a car, he has a house. And that's all built. And they're all building Accra. Accra yeah. Yes. Accra. What else? They shouldn't be complaining about media in Northern Region. One other thing they don't know, which I sometimes support them, is they respect the media in Accra more than Tamale. Mm. Yes, they do. Mm. Especially Makasu, for, for some reasons, I would say no. I mean, he's somehow respectful, except that the media hates him. Mm -hmm. Oh, Makasu, they, they hate him. Oh. But you never see him talking back. No. For fancy, when you hit on him, that's all. He'll come back. He's, no, he will not even attack you. But he becomes an enemy. Okay. okay. Yes, he won't talk back okay. anyway. Okay. But wherever he is, even if you call him for an interview, he won't come. come. You are an enemy. You understand me? But they respect Accra. They, they, and I support it. I used to insult them on that. Why would you go and pay media in Accra, yeah. but you want to, me to have it for free? Uh -huh. Now, I've seen it clear that they need... They need a crown more than Tamale. So even if they are playing, paying Mrs. Brassami, mm -hmm. Abeko Santana, 10,000 Ghana City, or TV3, 10,000 to promote them. It's an order because they need to break through. Mm. And to be able to do that, it mm. needs mm. finances mm. to be able to mm. do that. So mm. you, you have to pay your way through. Okay. So Northern Region, yes, Makaso shouldn't be complaining about North. Mm -hmm. The only thing he can complain about North is the criticisms. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes it is. That's right. Much. Sometimes that, 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 that it's over. Like sometimes it's too much. It's so it's way too many the criticisms. You know, instead of us talking the bad, the good aspect of them too, mm -hmm. we hate we hate them. And the problem is that underground presenters want to be to be right. like uh, uh, they want to be like Adugale. Uh, uh, they believe uh, uh, that Adugale criticize them negatively to be where I am. No, yeah. no. They believe that if you talk good about Makasu, you won't be heard. Mm -hmm. They believe that if you talk good about inner artists, you'll be heard. And so they want to target on the negative aspect mm -hmm. to be heard. They believe that their fans insulting them and posting them and insulting them makes them popular. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So that is the problem. Mm -hmm. It's not because mm -hmm. Makasu is bad. It mm -hmm. is because the presenters want to be popular. Mm -hmm. And to be popular, they believe that you need to hit the negative aspect. I see. Then the positive. That is what I see. Okay. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. But for me, I didn't hit them negative to be here. Okay. I didn't. I constructively criticized them. Until you make it a fight, then I fight you like fancy. Okay. You understand me? I get it. So if the complaints coming from Makasu and fancy, forget them. <laughs> Largely, they can complain about the criticisms. Okay. But air promo, you know, I myself alone, if I want fancy and Makasu to be, to remain forever, I can do it. I uh, like uh, I, I don't get it. I single hand, I single handedly made them so. Okay. okay. Their current state. Okay. Through my program, yeah. if I want people not to forget about them, you can always I can still that. maintain it. There is each agenda I can set an agenda, 
and make it and, and make it more attractive. I, I'll let people talk about them. Mm. Yes, there's a way I will put it, and people continue to talk about them. Fancy confided in one guy and told them that any time I I fight with him, that is when he sees more fans. You know, people sympathize with him. Mm. People who hate him will say, that, "Oh, fan, they tell you are too." Now they go there with sympathy and made it look those who you know when the the, the brother attacked me, uh -huh. people who hated me begin to love me. They sympathize with me. People who call and said the people who call me on phone and say, Oh, tell, report them, report them. All of these guys used to hate me. As I, I know they were my haters. About ten or fifteen of people people called. I know there were people who didn't like the way. But because of the attack, uh, you know, so my attack constantly on fancy drives some you know, it's not just negative. The good aspect is there. People don't talk about it. Mm. But Fancy know the good aspect. Mm. Yes. Mm. Fancy last show, even though for my beef with him, eh, it would have been something different. But my my continual talks about him put him there. Because the, the, his fans don't want to see him fail. That's right. So you... Mm. Mm. Do you understand me? I get it. So that's the good aspect people don't see. People and seeing. that's the entertainment for you. Unfortunately, my people in Northern Region... They don't get it. They don't get it. We need to educate them. They want you to play their, come down to their level. Mm -hmm. So there are things you talk, they insult you because they don't know what it brings to Fancy. I see. But on the back, Fancy knows what it brings, it brings to him. Mm -hmm. He knows. For now, you he knows. think they should come to the South to get the media attention here? Ah, Brother Sammy, there's no, I said it on radio, and Fancy, Makasso was not happy. Fancy will not be happy. There is no single musician in northern region who had ever made it in Accra. Just Accra alone, not even national. Um, made it like no popular it popularity. It like, breaking through. Uh, fancy, fancy, after his song with Sarkode, got some breakthrough, got some name. Got some, after winning the VGM. Got some name. Yeah. It depends on how you describe your popularity. Mm -hmm. Or gotten some name. When you say some name, means that it's even, even a bit mm -hmm. Right? No, but I think after after his song with Sarko then the VGA meeting did what? For fancy, he got he got a breakthrough in Accra. Breakthrough? Yeah. Do you call that breakthrough? Yeah, everybody. Do got you call that song a popular song? Um. Oh. Um. um totality. Yes. Was it a popular song? Oh, it's, it's a popular song. No, I disagree. Can you compare that to Shatter? Uh, Dance or King. No, don't compare it to Shatter. <laughs> so, 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 no, not even Shatter. Dance or King song. <laughs> I know. But so I when know, I talk, no. it's because I compare. <laughs> Do you understand? It's about standards. Okay. I want to see fans get them like Shatawali, mm. like the Stone Boys, mm. like the Altubis before mm -hmm. and now. That is where I see them. And so that is why I describe as breakthrough. Okay. Not fans get them to touch in the there. No. Breakthrough means I be like Shatawali, where you can sit in Tamale. Shatta would not come to my area, Nuhani in Tamale, but everybody knows Shatta. Mm. Why would it take Makasio to come to Accra to your office before you get to know him? Why would it take fans to get them to come and tell you vote for me before I win an award? When Shatta can sit in his office or ha home and win an award. That is the proper meaning of breakthrough. Why would people sit in Bulga and play Shatta Wale song in their bars, their clubs, but will not play even fans to get them single song in a club, Bulga, near Tamale. Yeah. But they play Shatta, they play Kwame Eugene, they play Kim Kwam Promise. Kwame Eugene, Eugene doesn't know Tamale. Kim <laughs> Promise doesn't know Bulga. Mm -hmm. Why are they playing them? That is the proper meaning of breakthrough. You don't have to go somewhere before they know you. Your music should fly. Mm. Why must you mm. campaign so hard into the sense of selling your TVs, fans selling their motorbikes to vote for fans to win mm. an award? Mm. When Shatter can sit in his house, do a live Facebook, get 2,000K, tell the fans to do something, and they will do it. Do it. Why? Okay. Shatter has broken through, mm -hmm. and that is the full meaning of breakthrough. Mm. Compare that to mm. fancy. Mm. Grass mm. 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 I get it. I get it. So that is what you want for them. That's right. Okay. So not until I see it, I can tell them they have broken through. Okay. No. Okay. Why must we still pay certain uh, uh, presenters to talk about you? When Shatter says that I've blacklisted this uh, radio station, can any fans get them say that? Mm -hmm. How can you go and beg for an interview when Shatter says that if one don't play my music again? And Shatter is still head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is telling you something. It's telling you that Shatter is there. It's telling you that, apart from U.S. or wherever, where Shatta can also lead the media in America or London, mm -hmm. Ghana, you, the whole Ghana can blacklist Shatta Wale, Shatta Wale will still make it. Mm. Because he has gotten to this point. Yeah. Now, tell me, if media, even in Tamale, blacklist Fancy or Makasu, tell me, 
what will be their fate. They have a lot of work to do. People like you and the way you talk makes them feel that they are there. Let them know there's a lot to, a lot to do. Like we said, they have broken through. Fans will say they say, oh, my total cheat, everybody knows me in Ghana. No. Go to Choco. Go to East Legon and ask people. Just ask 20 people on the street. Do you know fans are Ghana? They will tell you no. That's the fact of the matter. Industry knowing you is different than people knowing you. Yeah. You are an industry player. Exactly. I am an industry player. Yeah. Every industry player knows Fancy and Makasu. Mm -hmm. But go to Tudu. Ask any market woman. Do you know Shata Wale? Yes, even if he hasn't seen Shata Wale on TV, mm -hmm. he has heard about Shata Wale name. Mm -hmm. Ask that same person. Do you know Makasu Fancy? And listen to them. This is the proper definition of popularity and breakthrough. It is not about the industry. Yeah. It is about everybody in Ghana. That, 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 that that's one is a point. Yes. I agree. So when I say this, they don't understand. Mm. There's things that I hate them. I'd rather put them on their toes to work better so that one day they'll become like Shatterwale and everybody. Mm. They play concert in USA, wherever. Shatterwale is in Ghana. I use Shatter because he's my artist. Yeah. Shatterwale is in Ghana. People build him to come and perform Ghana Music Awards UK, yeah. wherever. But yeah. if Francis Ghana goes there, it is because he wanted a visa or he wants a visa. To go there. Francis can pay to go there. But Shatawala will not pay to go. They will pay for Shatta to go. Yeah. That's the difference. Mm. At some point, I now, thought... Francis has been to UK before. Yes. He has been to UK. Yeah. And even America. Uh, yeah. And even America. I went to one of the Ghana music. Yes. And even America. He went yeah. there. Even yeah. not to perform, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he performed. Yeah, he performed. So yeah. ask him how he got it. And ask how Shatta got there. It won't be the same though. Francis will not be paid. Mm -hmm. Shatta was paid. Mm. It won't be the same. But at some point... Francis said he's bigger than Shatter. Mm. When the fans was, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. He came when Shatter Wale did a song with Makasio. Mm -hmm. Through Wakasio. Mm -hmm. The fans of Shatter Wale, the fans was all over. Who is Shatter? Who is Shatter? He was interviewed saying he's even bigger than Shatter Wale in Tamale. No. At this point, he's calling Shatter Wale his mentor. This is the reality. You can never dodge it. Mm -hmm. And that is what I stand by. Mm -hmm. I told him that you are nobody. Shatter Wale gave the weevil open you at the time. Mm -hmm. was, I, was I wrong? Why are you calling Shatawale a mentor now? But I was chastised. I was victimized. I was insulted at the time. But today, he's... I sat on radio and said that. You don't call yourself a Northern Region king. You are nobody here. Don't call yourself... See yourself as a Ghanaian musician. They said, I am a, I, I jealous fancy. I don't like fancy. They insulted me, including fancy Gadam. He called himself a northern king, and you are saying he's no, he's not. Today, France was interviewing a client and said, the presenter introduced him as I have the, the northern king here. Francis Gadam said, no, stop it. The presenter asked why. He said, I'm now, no, I'm, I'm introducing me as a GH king. <laughs> Is it not the reality? <laughs> but I was insulted. Uh -huh. I was chastised at the time. When I said they should see themselves as Ghanaian musicians and not Tamale musicians. Brother Sami, Tamale is part of Ghana, whether we like it or not. Yeah. There is nothing like Northern music. Mm, mm. But my people have con they are confined. They are they are content with what they do, sing in Dagbali and call themselves Northern music industry. Is Northern region part of Togo? Mm. Why Shatawale why is, where is Shatawale coming from? In Accra. Yeah. Jamestown or this Ga mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. cool. Why is he not calling himself King of Choco, King of uh, Jamestown? Mm -hmm. He's a Ghanaian musician. Mm -hmm. Where's Tumwai coming from? Mm -hmm. Vota. Right. Why is he not Ashama? Mm -hmm. Like my his origin, mm -hmm. Vota. Why is he not saying I'm a King of Vota? Where's Artubis coming from? From the Northern region. Where's Sherif Aguni coming from? Sherif Aguni say she's she's a princess of Africa. Mm -hmm. She see herself but she's from a Dagomba from Savulugu, not even Tamale. Mm -hmm. Why can't you open up? I say this on radio. They call me a hater. Don't claim north. Today, they want to open up. Now they are claiming north. They still claim north. And want to be in Accra. You have to open up. Interesting. You have to open up. Mm. That has been my problem with mm. them. But mm. when I say this, I will receive insults after insults after insults. But now they are seeing it. And I pray they will live to see more. So, so to those who don't know your station, what, what's the name of your station? Is Radio Tamale. Radio Tamale. And Sagane TV. And Sagane TV. Yes, I have a program on Sagane TV yeah, on Saturdays. I've been watching that. Yes. And, um, uh, what, 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 what's the nature of the program you do? Morning, afternoon, drive? Drive show. You do the drive I show? I do from Monday to Friday. 
Okay. I used to have an entertainment discussion okay. on Saturdays, but I've stopped that one because of my busy schedules. Okay. So I, I so handled the drive. that one on TV? No, that one is not entertainment. It's societal. Um, yes, radio. and much of my radio program usually is societal, not even entertainment. Too. Oh, you right. know, entertainment is part of our society. Yeah. Uh, but I hit on societal problems, mm. but more importantly, the entertainment industry. Mm. Yes, mm. but that's what I started with. Mm. People always want me to talk about that. So if there's a problem, everybody's dodging. Everybody want me to hear from me. <laughs> so whatever I see is final. Oh, I see. Yes. So, so, so have you been listening to Black Rasta? I do. Mm. I do. Would you would you compare what you are doing to what he's also doing in Accra? What Black Rasta is doing in Accra mm -hmm. is bigger than what I'm doing in Northern Region. You know, Accra understands the media, okay. but my people don't understand. Black Rasta cannot do what he's doing in Tamale. Really? He cannot. Why? Black Rasta mentions. He mentions personalities uh -huh. and attacks them. Uh -huh. I cannot do that. You mean he addresses the issues, not attacks? Yes. Uh -huh. For example, he mentions Baum, Dr. Baumia uh -huh. and say all those sort of things. For example, he said Akufado should die early. Uh -huh. You understand? If I should sit on radio uh -huh. and say this, some MPP group will attack me. Uh -huh. But I can't, nobody will attack Black Rasta. So I can't go on that tangent. But no. he's, he's been attacked before, just so you know. Well, yeah. but how many Our times? Days are xylophone, he That's right. Yeah. But how many times? Mm -hmm. You know, yes, the way what he's doing, he likes what I'm doing also in Tamale. He calls me more often. Even when I had a problem with Radio Tamale, the chief of the area said he doesn't want me. He was a person who went on Facebook and called me and was just, he was mad. He wanted to tell people that. Now that is media for you. The chief of Tamale said he doesn't want you on radio. The area in where the my area. station record. Uh, somebody reported me. Uh, I brought a woman uh -huh. for to interview. I didn't say anything wrong, but the woman came uh -huh. and said certain things. You know, there's a tax force that deals with this uh, illegal menace, especially uh -huh. the drug uh -huh. peddlers and the, uh -huh. the people who take drugs. Now yeah. they go around and seize those tramadol and things. Okay. You know, the woman came and wanted to say, uh, say, say, uh, talk about it. And he, she wanted to take it through the law uh -huh. and try to say that whatever they are doing is wrong. Uh, so okay. yes, I tried to tell her that is the king of that bank, the Yana himself is aware, and so she placed down, she, she wanted to place uh, yeah, down, yeah, 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 not yeah, to place yeah. down on the yeah, chief, yeah, but it. even if the that bank chief said, they are still wrong. Yeah, 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 so yeah. people heard that, and they came to attack. Oh, almost every time I, the station was surrounded with people, not to attack me, but, the but somebody went to the chief and said that, I, I, you is, allowed. I insulted the Yana, hey. and people came to attack. I know you didn't do and, Yes, and quickly, he called my management to say that he doesn't want me. And they should shut down the station, not until they sack me. So my manager released a statement, sacking me, just because they wanted the station on wow. bef before we... <laughs> so later he got to know the truth. <laughs> later he got to see the videos mm -hmm. and said that I wasn't fault, I wasn't at fault. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was wrong. And he just, you know, cautioned me to be careful about those people who I bring mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. You know, so... At the time, and I'm sure people call you controversial and authority. But I, I, and I don't see myself as. <laughs> I don't know why people who want to stand by the truth are seen as controversial. Uh -huh. Being truthful. Mm. I'm just being truthful. If that makes me controversial, fine. But I'm just being truthful. My boy is uh, speaking truth to power. <laughs>